Good day, student. My name is Ajiboye Adebayo. You are welcome to another chemistry session. Today's topic is electropotential. Objective. At the end of this lesson, the student will be able to 1. Define electropotential. 2. Determine the standard electropotential of an electrode. 3. Calculate the electropotential of the cell. For apply reduction potential table, which is also known as the electrochemical series, states some examples of reference electrode. Now, electropotential. Electropotential is defined as the potential of a cell consisting of the electrode in question acting as a cathode and the standard hydrogen electrode acting as the anode. Reduction always takes place at the cathode and oxidation at the anode. Electropotential is defined by measuring the potential relative to a standard hydrogen half cell. Standard electropotential is a measurement of the potential for equilibrium. There is a potential difference between the electrode and the electrolyte called the potential of the electrode. Under standard condition, the standard electropotential occurs in an electrochemical cell at the temperature of 298 Kelvin, pressure of one atmosphere and concentration of one molar. The symbol E0, E0 subscript C M cell represents the standard electropotential of a cell. Now, the significance of a standard electropotential, number one, is that all electrochemical cells are based on redox reaction which are made up of two half reactions. The oxidation half reaction occurs at the anode and it involves a loss of electron. Reduction takes place at the cathode involving a gain of electron. Thus, electron flow from the anode to the cathode. The electric potential that arises between the anode and the cathode is due to the difference in the individual potential of each electrode which are dipped in their respective electrolyte. The cell potential of an electrochemical cell can be measured with the help of a voltmeter. However, the individual potential of a cell of a half cell cannot be accurately measured alone. It is also important to note that the potential can vary with a change in pressure, temperature, or concentration. In order to obtain the individual reduction potential of a half cell, the need for standard electropotential arises. It is measured with the help of a reference electrode known as standard hydrogen electrode, abbreviated as SHE. The electropotential of SHE is zero volts. The standard electropotential of an, ele of an electrode can be measured by pairing it with the SHE and measuring the cell potential of the resulting galvanic cell. The oxidation potential of an electrode is the negative of its reduction potential. Therefore, the standard electropotential of an electrode is described by its standard reduction potential. Good oxidizing agents have high standard reduction potential, whereas Good reducing agents have low standard reduction potential. For example, the standard electropotential of calcium is minus 3.8 volt and that of fluorine is plus 287 volt. This implies that fluorine is a good oxidizing agent, whereas calcium is a reducing agent. Now, measurement of standard electropotential of an electrode. To overcome the difficulty of measuring the individual potential of an electrode, an electrode of, of, an, of an unknown reduction potential can be paired with a reference electrode of a known potential. The ultimate reference is a standard hydrogen electrode whose potential is defined to be exactly zero volt at all temperatures. For example, to measure the standard reduction potential of zinc metal electrode, an electrochemical cell can be built with a zinc metal, e.g. zinc electrode, immersing one molar zinc surface solution as the anode. The anodic half reaction is then zinc solid to zinc ion. 
The SHG is used as a cathode and overall cell can be written in short time that zinc solid to zinc a um, to zinc a kios double slag two moles of hydrogen ion to give one hydrogen gas so since reduction half half reaction has a potential of zero the emf of the cell correspond to the potential of the zinc metal so whereas now the e cell of that will be given as 0 0.76 volt. Since the electro potential are conventionally defined as reduction potential, the sign of the potential for the metal electrode being oxidized must be reversed when calculating the overall cell potential. Note that the electro potential are independent of the number of electron transfers, so the two electro potential can simply combine to give the overall cell potential even if different number of electrons are involved in the two reactions. Thank you. I will see you when, I, when we come back. Now, you are welcome back. Standard reduction table. Now, we want to look at... Now, standard reduction table is also known as the electrochemical series that we also look at and that we also talk about. Now, since the values are given in their ability to be reduced, the bigger the standard reduction potential, the easier they are to be reduced. In other words, they are simply better oxidizing agent. For example, F2 has 2.87 volt and lithium ion has minus 3.05 volt. F2 reduces easily and is therefore a good oxidizing agent. In contrast, Lithium plus will rather undergo oxidation, hence a good reducing agent. Now we have the list of the reduction potential table. Now let's take an example. Zinc ion whose standard reduction potential is minus 0.76 volts can be oxidized by any other electrode whose standard reduction potential is greater than minus 0.76 volts. E.g. hydrogen ion 0 volts, copper 2 plus which is plus 0.34 volts and, I, and F2 which is 2.87 volt. All these ones has a higher potential than zinc and it can also be reduced by any electrode with standard re, uh, reduction potential less than minus 0.76 volt. For example, magnesium minus 2.37 volt sodium is minus 2.7 volt and lithium minus 3.05 volt now in galvanic cell where a spontaneous redox reaction drives the cell to produce an electric potential gibbs free energy that is delta g naught must be negative in accordance with the following equation that is delta g cell equals to minus n f e where n is the number of moles per moles of product and F is the Faraday constant which is approximately 96485 as such the following rules apply that if E cell is greater than zero then the process is spontaneous that is galvanic cell now if the E cell is less than zero then the process is not, is not spontaneous which is electrolytic cell thus in order to have a spontaneous reaction, delta G must be negative, E cell must be positive, where E cell is equal to E anode plus E cathode, where E anode is a standard potential at anode. So when you reverse the sign of the standard electric potential value of the electrode, and E cathode is the standard potential at the cathode as given in the table of standard electric potential. Now let's take an example. Calculate the electro potential of the cell of zinc plus copper 2 anions to give us zinc 2 plus plus copper. Given the following that zinc 2 plus to give Zn, the E value is minus 0.76 and copper 2 plus to give us and to give us copper sorry to give us E equals to 0.34 volt. Now the first method. Conventionally, all electropotential equation must be in their reduced form as given, as given above. Now, the cell equation in question is 
Zn plus Cu2 plus to give us Zn2 plus plus copper. Now the step one is divide the equation into two equal halves. So you have equation one that is Zn to Zn2 plus copper 2 plus to copper. That is equation two. Balance it molecularly and ionically. And so two, two electrons are involved. One at the anode, one at the cathode. Then step three. Now calculate the E value for each. For copper 2 plus, plus 2 electron minus to give us copper is plus 0.34 volt. Whereas Zn to give us Zn2 plus, plus 3 will be E equals to 0.76 volt. Because now the E value of equation 1 changes from negative to positive because the equation is a reversal of the reduced form of zinc electropotential. Thus, the sign is reversed. Therefore, when we now add the two equations together, we are now going to have Zn plus Cu2 plus to give us Zn2 plus plus copper. Then the E value will be plus 0.76 plus 0.34. The electron cancel out and hence the electropotential value of the cell is 1.1 volt. Now that this is the summation method. Now method 2 is that here you can use the formula method which is E cell equals to E reduced minus E oxidized. Here you need to determine which electrode conventionally will undergo oxidation and which will undergo reduction. Conventionally, zinc will undergo oxidation because of its E value and that it is lower than hydrogen in the reduction potential table. Hence, zinc has a high oxidative potential than copper. Therefore, the E cell will be 0.3 for minus minus 0.7, which is 1.1 volt. If you are using E cell equals to E anode plus E cathode, you will need to reverse the sign of the reduced potential at each electrode and add it up together. Thank you very much. So I will see you for the last class. Thank you. Now you're welcome back. Now let's go into non-standard condition. Now the standard electropotential are given at standard conditions. However, real cells may operate under non-standard conditions given the standard potential of the half cell. Its potential at non-standard effective concentrations can be calculated using the next equation. Now the next equation is given as the E cell equals to the standard electric potential of the cell minus RT over NF lean redox uh, reduced over oxidized where E is the standard electric potential of the electrode R is the gas constant which is 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin and T equals temperature F, which is the Faraday's constant, which is 96,500 Coulomb in approximately. Then N is the number of moles of electron. The value of E depends on temperature, except for standard hydrogen electrode, for which the potential has been arbitrarily declared zero at all temperatures, and are normally re referenced to SHE at the same temperature. For condensed phases, they are also expected to depend somewhat on temperature. Now let's take this question. Find the cell potential of a galvanic cell based on the following reduction of reaction at 25 degrees Celsius. Cadmium 2 plus plus 2 electron to give cadmium. The E value is minus 0.403 volts. Lead to lead solid, to lead solid equal the E value is minus 0.126 volts. Then the concentration of cadmium is 0.02 molar and that of lead is 0.2 molar. The solution. The first step is to determine the cell reaction and the total cell potential. In order for the cell to be governing, the E cell must be greater than zero. For this reaction to be governing, the cadmium reaction must be the oxidation reaction. And so the oxidation reaction that will be C, I mean cadmium solid to cadmium ion. And that will give you the E value will be 0.403 volt. That of lead will be the same, which is minus 0.12 volt. Therefore, the total cell reaction will now be lead 2 aeon plus cadmium to give cadmium 2 aeon plus lead solid. So the E cell will be given as 
0.403 volt plus minus 0.126 volt, which is 0.277 volt. So applying the next equation, so we have, so applying the next equation where the E cell is self potential and the R is gas constant, T is absolute temperature, number of moles of the cell, the Faraday's constant, and Q, which is the reaction quotient, where Q equals to concentration of C to D over, that, that's product over the reactant, where A, B, C, D are chemical species. And, and small letter A, B, C, and D are coefficient in the balance equation. So in calculating the coefficient, so our Q will be RT over NF, which is having 0.013 volt. So the only thing remaining is to find the reaction coefficient. So our reaction coefficient here, in this case, will give us 0.1. That is 0.02 over 0.2, which is 0.1. So if we now apply the next equation, which will now give us 0 0.277 minus 0 0.013 multiplied by lean of 0 0.1. So the answer will give us 0 0.3. So the cell potential for the two reactions at this will give us 0 0.3 volts. Now, reference electrode. Reference electrode is an electrode which has a stable and well-known electrode potential. The high stability of electric potential is usually reached by employing a redox system with constant concentration of each participant of the redox reaction. A good and dependable reference electrode provides a stable potential and is not prone to environmental factors. Ideal reference electrode has the following characteristics. One, a reversible reference redox pair that is fast electron transfer rate, good contact between redox pair, and three, stable liquid junction potential that is unaffected by temperature or local chemical decomposition around it. Reference electrodes are used to measure electrode potential. They are of various types. One, aqueous reference electrode. Two, non-aqueous reference electrode. Two, three, pseudo reference electrode. Now, common aqueous reference electrodes and potential with reference to the standard electro potential are the SHE, that is the standard hydrogen electrode. We have, we have also the reversible hydrogen electrode, the saturated calomel electrodes. Others are copper, copper, two sulfates. Then we can also have the pseudo reference electrode. This is so named because it does not maintain a constant potential. Therefore, by definition, it is not a true reference electrode. However, its potential depends on condition in a well-defined manner. If the conditions are known, the potential can be calculated and the electrode can be used as for reference potential. Non-aqueous reference electrode. An example is a silver chloride electrode. Thank you and make sure you are safe. God bless you.